So this is a release technique for uh, your plantar flexors and it's great for people suffering with things like uh, plantar fasciitis and those kind of conditions. The way we're going to use it is we're going to use a hard spiky ball and what I'm going to be doing is working all of this region of my foot in here so not on the heel and not on the, on the bony parts here but all of this um, soft region of the sole of the foot. And there's a few ways you can do it. You can start off with just with a roll. So you can just give your foot a roll through. That generally just feels quite nice. And if, you're, if you have got quite bad plantar fasciitis, it's going to be very tender through here. So take it nice and easy. And what I'd do is I'd start on the outside edge, sort of running heel to little toe, and then work my way immediately. So working through, so eventually I end up running heel to big toe. Okay, and that's okay, and it can just soften things up a bit. It also gives you a good sort of feel for what it's, what's going on under there. You may find it's okay here, but particularly painful through here or vice versa. So it's more sort of investig invest, I can't say that word, investigative, yeah? So we're having a look, that's a better word, having a look, okay? So once we've done that, we can do some other things. So we can start, behind the toes and what I can do is a bit of over pressure with the other foot but be wary if it's very sore don't apply too much and you can see I've started with my toes curled and I can do a bit of over pressure for a lock and then I can lift my toes up for a stretch hold for two seconds and then release and then roll the ball slightly further forward again lock it off stretch by lifting the toes holding for two seconds and then releasing and I keep working all the way through what you may find you know if you do a full sweep so I do outside through the center inside yeah and when you've done a full sweep you may find there's a point which is quite tender so let's say my tender point's just here okay I would have the ball just in front of the tender point so now the tender point's closer to me I'd curl my toes and apply my lock and then I'd stretch one, two, release and I'd repeat that 12 to 20 times until I feel like I've worked through it, okay? When I say work through it, it's not work through the pain but I've worked that dysfunction out so it's getting easier each time. And then when you go back onto it after 12 to 20 times, it should be a lot easier if it's still hanging in there a little bit what you can just do is pressure through the knee and lean onto it and then just try and relax the foot and then hold it there for 30 seconds to two minutes and you should just feel the tissue start to release um, or, or the pain start to drop off the other way you can another one you can do when everything's feeling a bit better is you can do it you can, it's two actions. So you're lifting the toes up. So you start, always start with the curled and then lifting them up. But as you do it, roll through the ball. So I'm lifting and rolling at the same time. Okay, and I'm sort of, <coughs> excuse me, my force is sort of going down and forward through my knee. So I'm pushing into the floor through my knee. I can add a bit of extra pressure if I wanted to, by, pushing down onto the knee and I'm lifting and rolling through. And you can just sweep through here. Again, you know, do 10 to 20 of these at the end and that's really gonna move on, um, start to ease off any of the tenderness in the foot. But just have a play. There's a few different ways you can do that. Um, there's a few different options with you there. Some of you prefer what some to others, but just have it, give it a go. If it's very bad in there, then just find the tender points and just hang out on it. You don't necessarily have to put over pressure through to, because um, that may elicit too much pain. You don't want to be aggravating the foot too much. But if that's quite tender, just as it is, I'll just leave it there and let the foot sort of sink onto it and let the pain dissipate that way.